uh, in Dante's Inferno, you know, all the souls trying to get out of <laughs> Trying to climb out of hell. Yeah. Uh, but they were all asleep, and they were all muddy, you know, dirty. Long hair everywhere and beards and all that. And you, I just, you know, and I'm doing Born on the Bayou. And I, oh, man. So then we did something else and tried to rave it up. And pri finally got through four or five songs. And I was getting frustrated, right? I mean, here's my chance to play for half a million people, except that they're all asleep. So I go up to the mic, right? <laughs> And I said, well, I said something like, we're, we're working real hard up here. We're having a lot of fun. We're trying to, you know, rock out or what, you know, a way of saying that we're really into it. We love what we do. So, and uh, we hope some of you are enjoying this. That's what I said because I was trying to, like, connect. Something, but nothing. All, you know, I, all I could see was sleeping people. And right about up in here, right? I've always said, a quarter mile out, up on a hill. Well, it would have been from there, up there somewhere, right? Uh, like I say, it was, it was up a little bit to my left. Some guy got a lighter, right? Don't worry about it, John! We're with you! So I played the whole rest of my Woodstock show with that the guy. guy. <laughs> as far as I knew, you know, anyway, mm. as our, you know, hour or so went on we were getting more and more revved up and people started waking up right it's about the time we left the probably our last song was keep on chugling um we left you know hey, hey. and i've always said we warmed them up for janice <laughs> she got out there and she's doing you know ball and chain and all that and yeah. everybody was awake hey <laughs> you woke them all up yeah uh i remember looking at the at the structure of the stage that day I'm not sure how many of the people really could hear the, I mean, the, it was a massive PA as far as anything I'd ever seen. But nowadays, of course, things are no, that's 10 what, times uh, bigger. That'd be antiquated compared to that, yeah. Yeah. So it was, I had, what's the word? I, I think I was an old soul when I got here because what I really, really was afraid of was there'd be, you know, like they always say, don't shout fire in a, club yeah, right. you know, in a hotel or whatever uh, I was afraid that with all those people with no real structure everybody had just arrived right I mean it was like yeah. who knew that it would get so big so quickly right and I was just afraid that well what if they run out of food you know what if what if somebody there's some sort of indignity happens you know or they need water or whatever and I was just really kind of afraid that if something went wrong, a half a million people yeah. would, you know, run and no, right. be trampling and all that. But it turned out to be just pretty groovy three days yeah, and well, pretty peaceful. Right. It was. Probably, you know, one of the, certainly in that era, it, it was uh, remarkably calm, actually. But, you know, there were so many artists, so many, I mean, so many. Oh, that was the whole who's who of the culture. Was exactly, here. of yeah. what was going on at the yeah, time. Yeah, at the time, I was here. Right. 